Right, here's a few skills we're going to need to use involving brackets. We're going to look at adding and subtracting brackets, expanding brackets, and then finally, factorising brackets. So, first one, it says adding and subtracting brackets, so x squared minus 2x plus 7 plus 3x squared plus 5x plus 6. Now, all you have to do here is collect together like terms. Now, like terms also refers to having the same power of x. So, x squared plus 3x, which is 4x squared, minus 2x plus 5x, which is 3x, and 7 plus 6, which is 13. So, that's part 1 done. Part 2 is of expanding brackets. So, remember, this means you've got to multiply everything in the left-hand bracket by everything in the right-hand bracket. So, x times 2x, which is 2x squared, x times minus 1, which is minus x, 7 times x, which is 14x, and 7 times minus 1, which is minus 7. Now we need to collect together the like terms again. What well, are like terms here are the minus x and the plus 14x, so that makes plus 13x, and then minus 7, and that's the answer. The second question is slightly more difficult because you're not just looking at x squared, but you've still got to do the same. You've got to multiply this x by everything in this bracket, and you've got to multiply the 4 by everything in this bracket. So, firstly do that, and then collect together like terms. So, firstly, x times x cubed, so that's x to the power of 4. x times 2x, well that's 2x to the power of 3 x times 5x, well that's 5x squared, and x times 3, well that's 3x. So that's the first one. Now I'll do the same but with the 4, so 4 times x cubed plus 4 times well, that's 8x squared plus 4 times 5, which is 20x, plus 4 times 3, which is 12. So now we can collect together all the x cubed, x to the power of 4, x squared, x is a number. So, there's only one x to the power of 4. So, x to the power of 4. x cubed, what is 1 here? Well, it's 2, and there's 4 there. So, that's 6. The squared part, what well, is 5 there, and there's 8 there. So, 5 and 8 is 13. You've got the x part, so you've got 3x and you've got 20x, which is 23. And you've got plus 12. That's your final answer. Okay. Now let's look at the final skill to do with brackets, which is factorising. Now, factorising. This is a B grade style GCSE question. Now, just to remind you, that to get this minus 12... You must have multiplied two numbers together. So the best way to do this is to write down the factors of 12. So you've got 1 and 12, you've got 2 and 6, and you've got 3 and 4. Now, the only way it could be minus 12 is if one of these numbers is positive and one is negative. So one of these values in the bracket has got to be a positive and one has got to be a negative. Now... The next thing is these number, pairs of numbers have got to add up to make minus 1. Because there's a minus 1 in front of that x. That's the coefficient of that x. So 1 minus 12 would be minus 11. And 12 minus 1 would be 10, uh, 11. So that doesn't work. 6 minus 2 would be minus 4. And 2 minus 6 would be minus 4. And 3 minus 4 is minus 1, and 4 minus 3 is 1. Now you should have noticed there that 3 minus 4 gave us minus 1. So in our bracket, the positive number is the 3, and we're taking away the 4. And you can always check that's right by expanding it and seeing if you get that. Now, this is a more difficult style factorising question. You've got 3x squared minus 14x plus 8. So, now this is the most difficult kind of factorising quadratics question. 
you have to do 3x squared minus 14x plus 8. Now, I'm going to show you two different methods here for answering this question. It's up to you which method you prefer. Now, method 1 is to very similar to the method we used above. So, remember, this 8 is found by in two numbers together. So, the factors of 8 are 1 and 8, or 2 and 4. Now, we've got to figure out which one of these make 14. But, you've got to remember that one of these numbers is going to be multiplied by 3, and the other one isn't. Now, in the question, you're told that the answer here is a positive, but these are negatives. So that implies that both parts of the bracket are going to be negative, because remember, a positive times a negative gives you a negative, and when you simplify those, when you add the two negatives together, you're going to get a negative answer. So, I like to do it, this method, but as I say, I'm going to show you another method to see which one you prefer. So, if we had three lots of one, that would be three. So three uh, minus three take away it would be minus eleven. So that won't work. If this one was multiplied by three, that'd be twenty-four. So it'd be minus twenty-four take away one, which is minus twenty-five. That doesn't work. If two was times by three, that'd be six. And uh, six minus six take away four is minus ten. If four was multiplied by 3, that would be minus 12, take away 2 is minus 14. So the one that needs to be multiplied by 3 is the number 4, so it's minus 4 and 2. Now as I say, that method really is a case of just trialling and improving. So you go through each method, multiplying each of the pairs, one at a time, doing 1 times 3, and then taking away that, and then doing it the other way around. Well, method 2 is a bit more of a systematic way of doing this. So method 2. Right. So we're going to start off with a question we start with. So that's 3x squared minus 14x plus 8. Now, the way to answer this, to find the factors, uh, to find the, the brackets, is to firstly do 3 times 8. So the, no, the coefficient in front of x squared times by 8. So basically you're doing the a times the c. So that is 24. That is 24. And secondly, you need two numbers that add up to make minus 14. So we're doing the, a question mark times a question mark gives us 24. And also a question mark add a question mark equals minus 14. So what we're going to look at to help answer this is what are the factors of 24? So you've got 1 and 24, 2 and 12, 3 and uh, 8 and 4 and 6. Now which pair add up to make minus 14? Now remember both the unknowns are going to be negative because a negative times negative equals a positive. And if you go through the list, so 1 minus 1 take away Minus 24 is minus 25. Minus 2, take away minus 12 is, uh, sorry, add minus 12, is minus 14. So the two factors we're going to use, our question marks, are going to be minus 2 and minus 12. Now, so what we do now is we're going to, we're going to rewrite our question now. Instead of writing as 3x squared minus 14x plus 8, we're going to rewrite this as 3x squared minus 12x, one bit, and then minus 2x, add 8. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to factorise this first part, and you're going to factorise this second part. And what you should notice is there's a common factor in both. So, if you factorise this first bit, you can take 3x out of both parts, so you're left with x minus 4. And if you do the same for the second part, this time we're going to take minus 2 out as a common factor. So minus 2, so x minus 4, because minus 2 
times minus 4 gets us back to that 8. Now you should notice here, but you've got a common factor here, you should notice that minus x minus 4 is common to both bits, so that's one of our brackets, and the other bracket is the bits we're left with, the 3x minus 2. Now this method does become quite easy if you practice it a few times using the questions from the book. Maybe you might want to pause this video, watch this part again, and have a go at a question from the exercise. And then if you're still stuck, watch it gradually as you go. But remember the first step in this method is to multiply the is to multiply the A part by the C part. And those two times together to make 24. And then you're looking for two numbers to add together to make the B part, which is the minus 14.